So currently we're headed to Soweto to see how the locals actually live and get out of the suburbs and the cities and see the real South Africa. So I'm excited and let's get ready to explore this beautiful city. <laughs> He's saying you're exposing the kid to the to the call. Now he's saying tomorrow you'll cry you'll, you'll cry alone because the sick kid will be sick. Ah no no. Okay. <laughs> Tell him we was in negative uh, five degrees uh, Celsius no, before we came. But 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 we are lepeshia like when I cool. So but what are you cars? Oh la ba ba. Yeah 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 we're cool. This is nothing. This is nothing. This is nothing. Let's let's. <laughs> shop was that? Hey, shop was it? Shop, shop. Hey. Sure, Tumelo. Um, okay, this is Tumelo. Um, nice Tumelo. Nice okay, I've got uh, Trevon and his family. All right. Yeah, they've, 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 yeah. They've, That's love, happiness, sure. friendship, and then two like this. Wala, oh, oh, wala, wala. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, Tumelo, will you do it? <laughs> all right, all right. Show, okay. show fit. Yeah, can you batter the fit? Guess what? What is the fit? Okay, okay. Uh, again, my name is Tumelo, and then welcome to Soweto. Yes, sir. The famous township. So you'll find it. As our parents, they were chased in so far town. That's when this name Soweto came out to be as a question to say, okay, you're chasing us now. There's so far town. Okay, so where to? You know, and then Soweto again is an abbreviation. SNO stands for South, WNE Western, TNO Township. And then again, welcome to Hector Tyson Memorial Site. Uh, the student uprising, actually, they were doing, as they were doing that peaceful protest march, police said to the student that corner Villaga Street and Moema Street, you call it the corner of the confrontation, when you just hear. Yeah. So you'll find that police, they already barricaded the street. And then you'll find that before the, 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 the student they got shot, like Hector Peterson, the youngest, police said to them, student, you know what you're doing? You're doing an illegal march. So it's better for you to head back at school or at home because you're going to see what's going to happen. Then the student, they refuse. They say, no, can't you see we're having those placards written, Africans must be demolished to hell with Africans and release us as blacks because you want that freedom, that democracy, that peace. That's when police started being angry because the student, they didn't want to listen. That's when they started issuing the dogs tear gases. So, the weapon that we use by students is stones. You'll find it uh, as they, 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 the police, they, 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 they issued the dogs. After meth, one dog was stoned to death. And then police started being angry to say, okay, student, you stoned this one dog to death. That means you're going to like stone these other dogs to death. Can't you know, like, you understand that when it comes to the police department, the dogs, they've got their, their position. You call them the CIDs, captain and sergeant. And then they'll be like, you know, a, a life of a dog is more important than a life of a black person. You'll find it in June 16, 1976, 15,000 school children, they've gathered themselves together to do that peaceful protest march. And then after math, 600 children, they died. A thousand were tortured and wounded. And then 12,000, they flee the country. Hector Peterson, he's the youngest. A 13-year-old boy got shot dead corner of the street. And he was not part of the march. You know, you'll find it June 6, 1976. 
a high school and secondary. They were doing that peaceful protest march. So Hector Tassin, he was attending uh, at, the, at the lower primary. We call it a uh, Torreni Junior Primary School. And it was after school, going to check up on the sister at Orlando West High School. That's when, he, that's when he got a straight bullet on the neck. So the guy who picked up Hector, he's by the name of Mbuiswa Makubo. He's not a political brother of Hector. As he picked him up, as Hector got shot, he was trying to save his life, rushing to the nearest and the local clinic. So only to find out the last breath and the last spirit of Hector felt here. Hence today, we've got this memorial stone over here, and this memorial stone over here was unveiled by the late father of the nation, Dr. Holt Mandela, in 16 June 1992. And the important message that comes from the late father of the nation says, in memory of Hector Tassin and all those young heroes and heroines who laid down their life for freedom, peace, and democracy. Right, right. Okay, well, we appreciate the tour, man. You was excellent and very informative for us, man. So we thank you and till next time. Yeah, yeah. My name is Zimiso Matwasa. Um, did the uh, driving around with them uh, on the Matwasa travel um, transportation services. So anyone who's interested um, in doing the transfers and transportation while you're in South Africa, I'm the go-to person. Like he said, the best tour guide here guys trust me we wouldn't put out anything that wasn't true this guy is the real deal so if you need to book a tour come from the airport have a, a transport from the airport or just anything you want to do around the city this is your guy maybe something small put christ for you my brother okay yeah welcome home yes thank you thank you Looking at this bracelet, <laughs> I was already looking at this one before you said that. So you want a bracelet? Yeah. You like that? Yeah. yeah, yeah. Beautiful. 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 Which one you like? You want a bracelet, Mama? <laughs> mm -hmm. It's too big. It's too big. I don't think they have baby ones. They don't have one for the baby. Look good next to my skin tone. Everything look good next to your skin tone, girl. <laughs> Don't play with me. I got <laughs> you want this? You gonna pay for it? You How much money you got? You got money? Let me see. Ain't nothing in your pocket. Where your money? All right, that's that's what we gonna get today. Okay. Thank you, sir. Thank you. you have a good day, okay? Yeah, have a nice tour. Okay. Enjoy. Yes, sir. Oh, yes, sir. Uh, no, that was a mistake. Oh, that was my mistake. Oh, okay. Okay. No, that's Your name a... will be Sibusiso. Yeah, Sibusiso. Sibusiso. Yeah. Sibusiso. Yeah. Sibusiso. That's my, Zul yeah. that's my Z Zulu name. Yeah. Blessing? Yeah. Thank you. Spongile here. Spongile. Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving. That's beautiful names, brother. Spongile and Sibusiso. Sibusiso and Spongile. Yes. Right here. Both start with the S. <laughs> <laughs> so we bought a whole bunch of stuff so far. <laughs> Amanda, forget you, forget Amanda. The baby, Amanda. That's that's his Zulu name. What does that mean? Amanda means keep growing. Keep growing, Amanda. So we got Suatu hat, bracelet. Got she got her a little ladybug for my ladybug. Got a little she gets toy. Mad when I take it from her. And she and Jessica, show them what you got. You got your little bracelet too. I don't even put them on. Just look, just show them. I got two brain for it. Yeah. Fancy with my black and gold. You know. I'm from New Orleans. I'm going to wear this for the same game. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. So, so far, we're having a great time out here in Soweto. This is a beautiful place. This is what we wanted to see, the real side of, of South Africa. This we wanted to show you guys. So, man, just keep keep following along with us, and we're going to show you more and more. Now we're on a, one of the most famous streets in the world, going to uh, how, uh what street? Villagazi. Villagazi Vil Vil Street. Yeah. We're two Nobel Prize winners on the same street. We got Nelson Mandela. Okay, so we start with Matutu. And uh, we're, going, we're going from there. So it's exciting. Uh, leaving the apartheid museum, and it just goes to show how similar our coaches are with the black Americans and 
the South Africans, man. It, it, we went through the same struggle, went through the same things. And I really have to say, man, I feel for you guys. And we should just come together as a people and join one another. So this is Desmond Tutu's house. Uh, we can't go in there right now. I got a family here, but this is it, man. Nobel uh, Peace Prize winner. So history, history. So now we headed to the great and famous Nelson Mandela's house. You ready? Yeah, I'm ready. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get it. Let me get this really quick. Yeah, we're having lunch um, here at Sakumzi in Soweto Villagal Street. Uh, what a delicious meal um, and selection of the, the, the dish. We've got some dumplings, we've got pap, we've got spinach, we've got some um, cow hoos amanguina, we've got umushu, we've got burbos, and we've got some biryani. Wow, yeah, this is our traditional stuff. Let's enjoy it, guys. Um, and we've got some salads as well. We've got chakalaka. Um, yeah, and some, some pop. Thank you. So you guys kind of talked about his bad last time with the, the bride. So we got, we came to the most traditional spot, local spot, and we got some real, some real food. So the sausage of the bro, bro us. Okay. Mm. Mm. That was good, y'all. That was really good. Pap with gravy this time. Pap with gravy, not the dry pap, with the gravy. Mm. Yeah, I was right, that's good. That's real good. Pap, chocolate. Oh, the sauce right here. Dump that. Mm. Mm. That sauce is, mm, that gravy. We got the chocolate I'm about to try. With a little bit of the pap. Yeah. Mm. Mm. Oh yeah, this hit different, y'all. This hit different. Dumpling. Going into this gravy right here. Mm. Man, that gravy is delicious. Oh my god. Mm. Now I'm trying something I never tried before. We usually don't eat like this. A cow's foot. What do they call it? Oh, I can't say that one. Yeah, I mean, I tried. Let's see. 
Woo. I'm nervous. <laughs> It's okay. Did it say lucky? It's like, uh, it's hard to describe. Okay. It's sticky. So I don't eat pork, but when I did eat pork back in the day, it kind of tastes like pig's feet or something like that. It's kind of similar to that. Yeah. Growing up in Louisiana, I ate pig's feet, but I, like I said, I don't eat pork anymore. But this guy is similar to that. It's okay. I wouldn't choose it, but it's okay. And then we got the biryani and the other stuff, but I just wanted to show y'all that we came here, got some, some local, authentic South African food. So I'm happy with what I got and we buy the grub and we'll see y'all at our next location. Okay, family, so we reached the end. Thank you so much for watching all the way through. There will be a part two to this video where we're traveling throughout Johannesburg to see some more places. So please be sure to stay tuned. As always, family, Shalom.